How does Bank Eurosib fit into the Russian banking sector? Who are your clients? I hope it fits well enough. I mean, we do have our clients who have been loyal to us for many years. These clients are both of the corporate kind and private individuals. So when you talk about Eurosib, probably you should better start with the name. It stands for Ural and Siberian Bank. It doesn't mean that we do not bank in Moscow. We do, and we do it very well. But the difference is that Eurosip is actually doing lots of business, more than two-thirds of it, in the regions of Russia, rather than concentrating on Moscow and the Moscow region only. The same goes for the type of the corporate clients that we're doing the services to. We're not concentrating on the not-so-numerous Russian blue chips. We are more uh, targeting the so-called small and mid-cap companies, especially those operating in the regions of Russia, where, unfortunately, the uh, lack of the proper financial services is uh, obvious, and where Eurosip is ready to provide them with these services, and not from Moscow, not from other regional centers, but being on the ground, talking to the people, knowing these people, growing with the people. So uh, we have the list of the so-called privileged clients. Actually, you know, well, we have been privileged that these clients have been with us for more than 16 years, some of them more than 20 years since the very beginning of the bank. So even though when in the West we look at Russian business, frequently we look at Moscow, you're tapping into clients and wealth that lies outside in the regions. You know, well, uh, there should be the difference between the outside and the inside interest. You start from the obvious. And should I be a foreign banker, I would probably start with the big company operating in Moscow, at least having its headquarters in Moscow, and being connected with the commodity sector. But if you are there for the long-term perspective, definitely you will understand that there is the demand and there is not enough of the supply. And, uh, well, it is not only feasible, from the point of view of the business, but it is also valuable from the point of view of the social responsibility. And we at Eurosip try to be socially responsible bankers. And you've touched on the importance of small and medium enterprises. They're your core market or just a large part of it? Well, they're our core market. I don't want to downgrade the other segments of business that we're doing, but this is definitely the, to the core target group that we're concentrating on. And actually, if you look at the comparison tables, Eurosip is now number two, coming immediately after the biggest uh, state-owned Russian bank, which is Berbank. And this is as far as the volumes are concerned. If you look at the actual number of the loans provided to the corporate clients, you will see that we are actually even doing better, in the sense that our small clients are really small. We know about Russia's enormous mineral wealth, its strength in agriculture and so on, but when the small and medium enterprises come to you, what kind of businesses are they seeking financing for? During the crisis, we saw lots of uh, stimulation plans, but those mostly were to provide for the better supply of money. While it is necessary to provide for the real demand, and it is better if this is the internal demand, so that's why we are very happy to work with the companies who are connected with the food processing business, packaging, providing, you know, well, catering possibilities. You know, it is not only the immediate supply from the point of view of the growing number of the uh, jobs, but also from the point of view of the growing number of the jobs in the connected sectors, like agriculture, like packaging like, you know, families that are integrated into this type of operations. You've mentioned the impact of the financial crisis. How did it change the mindset of Russian banking? Hopefully for the better. You know, uh, they say that uh, wise men, they try to learn from the mistakes of the rest. Unfortunately, when there is a global crisis, everyone is hit. But at least let's make the mistakes and let's not uh, repeat them again. And the main lesson, which I think the bankers, not only in Russia, 
should arrive at is that you should be doing a socially responsible business. You should not be seducing people with quick money. You should not be seducing people with loans that the people are not capable of servicing. Because then you will not be able, you will not be in a position to blame these people for not repaying the loans. Which means that with treating people with responsibility, using the energy of the money for the proper cause will be the source of both commercial success and better social surrounding. So social responsibility, in your view, just goes right to the day-to-day -day operations dealing with the client? Exactly. You know, as they say, honesty is best policy. The crisis has shown that it is more than true. Alexander Dementiev, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.